Good day everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for checking me out. Do look at other videos I've made and if you enjoy what I do, please subscribe and follow my content. It's January now, so every January I go into my craft room and I do an update on all my tools. Just as a chef will tell you that a sharp knife is a lot safer to use than a dull one, the same goes for your creative memories cutting tools. So I'll take you to the craft room, show you what I do to maintain my tools so they're nice and sharp and ready to use. And hopefully these tips and pointers will help you out as well. Starting with our personal trimmer, usually before our blade wears out, we will be wearing out our strips. Now you know your strips have four positions, two, uh, two on one side and two on the other, and you would take it out, rotate it, flip it before you go and replace it. Your extra strips always have one backup. They are stored underneath in this position on the back side of your trimmer with your extra cutting blades and your clips for doing precision cuts. Now with your strip, you may find if you take a close look at it, that one end of your strip usually tends to be a little bit more worn than the other. And that's because we tend to cut in one direction versus the other. So if you're always starting at the top, that end of the strip will wear out a lot quicker. So if you want to have nice clean cuts every so often, just cut from the bottom up and set your paper up at the bottom of the page rather than at the top. I always reserve line four on my strip and I set that up to cut whenever I'm using one of my decorative trimmers because it's not making a straight groove through the paper and sometimes later when I am cutting uh, a straight cut, my paper can get caught on one of those grooves that are dug in. So I leave straights for positions one, two, and three, and I use number four for my decorative blade. Your blade itself, because it is a rotating blade, it will last a lot longer than your precision tip blades on your custom cutting system or your decorative trimmer. According to Creative Memories, one blade should last you about 2,000 cuts before you're going to replace it. So when you do get your new blade and put it in your housing, always put a date on it so you know when you've used it last. As a general rule for me, I swap buying out every, <clears throat> every January. So this year I'm putting in my new blade. And if you want to know what 2,000 cuts are, if you follow... Noreen Smith's um, method of cutting photo mats in which she cuts six four by six mats on a piece of paper and involves one horizontal cut, two vertical cuts to make the six mats. So that would be three cuts for the paper. And then each photo has to be trimmed down a little bit to fit on that mat. So you're gonna do four cuts per photo times six photos so 24 cuts plus your cuts for your six mats for every six photos you mat you are making 27 cuts so after you mat 445 photos you will have made your 2000 cuts if you're putting 200 and some photos in an album every two albums you've used your 2000 cuts and that does not include cutting the paper for your borders and other items so that's kind of how much you, how quickly you are going through your your blade so i'm dating this 0123 and we are all set to start the new year with a new blade onto your Personal trimmer, these are the one of the most sturdy tools you're going to have in your room. And the uh, 
blades themselves, they last a really, really long time. Just has to ensure that you're using proper use. So when you are cutting your pieces of paper, we're going to slide it in and then make sure we have contact. So this edge is going to go in a little bit and then down to make sure one edge is running against the other edge. If you find things slipping or not getting sharp, you can sharpen your personal trimmer by running your foil in here. This one I have folded four thick. And I'm just going to go through and slice my foil a few times. I'm going to go down the blade a bit. Make some confetti. And I'll be sharpening my blade this way. I have had clients take their trimmers into skate shops and they will sharpen your blades there as well if you need them sharpened. Other than that, this tool is very straightforward. With respect to your Creative Memories decorative trimmer, your newer blades will be blue. So if you have the old CM blades, they will be yellow. This is the last of the stockpile I've had. The blades themselves date uh, with the new year when you go to replace them. And it is set up with the part with the point that sticks out. That's where you're going to load your blade in the end and then slide it into, into use. Now this blade itself, it is a stationary blade and it comes to a little point tip at the end. So if you're always cutting in one direction, you will be using one side of the blade more than the other. So to extend your longevity of this blade every so often, do cut in the other direction. In terms of how long do I use my blades before I replace them with this trimmer, I date mine, but I don't use my decorative trimmer as often as my straight trimmer, so I may let it go a little bit longer. You can watch for uh, some errors, like when I'm cutting, it's rounding the paper versus cut, giving a nice crisp edge. So that may be an indicator that it is time definitely to replace my blade. If you're working with sensitive papers like vellum, which is kind of slimy and slippery, a lot of times if you're cutting into the paper, it will roll and bunch a bit for you. So this is mostly just a technique thing in which you'll start inside on the paper, cut out, and then come back in to give yourself that nice, crisp, clean cut. And don't forget, with your decorative trimmer, the blade is at the tip of the housing here so don't hold it on the back end make sure you weight the tip when you're cutting to give it a nice smooth edge likewise if your paper has, has a little point on the end if I run into the point it may um, roll rather than cut so I'm gonna back off weight my paper punch into the paper and then cut through to get a nice crisp edge again when you're done using your personal trimmer don't forget to take your blades and park them. I go at the far end. You'll feel a little clink inside where they stay. And this way when you're storing them, they're not sliding up and down, catching on other things, getting damaged. When it's in the park position, it is not on the smooth edge. It's safely within the raised portion here. So it keeps your blade tips nice and safe. In terms of your custom cutting system, again, you'll be replacing your blades depending on how much you use them. You usually use your red blade the most, followed by your green blade because you're going to be matting. And then a lot of times um, you'll use your blue blade for large outside circles. But if you're doing photos, you tend to can cut your photos with your green and mat with your blue. So red would get used the most, followed by green, followed by your blue blades. The blades themselves, they are a stationary blade that comes to a point. So when you're cutting, if you're left or right handed, even though the blade rotates around the edges you're going, you tend to be using one edge of the blade more than the other. So if you're left or right handed, you tend to cut in one direction more. So you tend to be using one side of the blade 
more than the other to check to see if your blades need to be replaced when you make your cuts usually is a go all the way around and then before you remove your item you're going to check to see that it releases in any direction now because again you're left or right handed you may find it easier to cut um, on one side of your circle versus the other but if you do have an, an area where you did mat mess rather than going around in the same direction sometimes it's nicer to go back in the reverse direction to use that other edge of the blade that may be sharper if you are quite ambidextrous you can say on even years i'm going to make all my cuts going in a clockwise direction and in the odd years i'm going to start all my cuts going in the counter clockwise direction but a lot of times we're not that skilled <laughs> To check your paper to make sure that your blade does not need to be replaced again you can examine the edge of your paper to make sure you have a nice crisp edge and you're not getting any bending or curving or fuzzy edges on the on the paper if your edge tends to be a little bit fuzzy it is definitely time to replace your blade it's not so important when you're cutting a mat but I don't really want to mess up cutting my photos so I do want to make sure my tools like a chef in the kitchen are nice and sharp and easy to use again I'm dating the inside of my blades and the back so I know when I did use them last my reds I replace every year so we'll date out the new one and we'll go from there my greens and my blues, usually I go maximum on the blues three years, maximum on the greens two years, um, or if they feel dead before then. So this one's 2023, my new blade for this year. And lastly, we'll have a look at our uh, creative memory circle cutter the blade itself is in the housing unit in below in which you would press uh, the safety and release to see the blade come out that little bit to replace the blade on this one we're going to open our housing and we can just pop it up now because it's inserted you can give a little push on the bottom to give a good grab to take it out again we're labeling our blade as to when it was first inserted so you can keep track that way and how often you're going to replace it you can go the once a year if you don't use your circle cutter that often you can just ensure that you do a test to make sure things are going smoothly so when you cut your piece of paper and go around you know a nice sharp blade should come off really easily you shouldn't have to go around 10 million times or put a, a lot of pressure on it. You can again check your edges of your paper to see if there is any folding or bending or if you've got a nice clean cut. The circle cutter it's easy to go in both directions and it is a circular blade so it will last a long time like your 12 inch trimmer but the blade itself is smaller than the one in your 12 inch trimmer so it's going to be getting contact with the surface more often than your 12 inch trimmer so take that into consideration as well lovely tools keep them sharp stay safe check your tools every january when you go and replace your smoke detector batteries have a great day and we'll see you next time